bit of a frustrating and disappointing defeat today. Yeah, it was a little bit. Um, obviously, off the back of two wins, we're looking to make it three, which we didn't do last year. So we was up for it, looking forward to it. It was a tough game. I think as a manager, you've sometimes got to hold your hands up and say, yep, they were decent. They were good at what they did. They had two lads up front that were a real handful. They defended for their lives and had a midfield that worked hard and, and wanted to make forward runs. So it was, a, it was a real tough game. Probably quite a good game to watch, but from our point of view, really frustrating. We, we wasn't as good as we have been, but in saying that, um, I think we've created way more chances than them. Um, first half, we had a number of really good chances, not took them, and, and that always leaves you susceptible and open to what happened. I think they've had two good chances, scored two goals um, within two minutes, and it, it's a real sucker blow and knocks the stuffing out of you. So from their point of view, they'll probably say it was a perfect away performance. Um, from my point of view, I'd be frustrated, but once you analyse it and I, I watch the game back, we've, we've created a number of chances, probably probably in six or seven. Um, the keeper's made a couple of good saves second half, but it wasn't a B. Um, so we just have to deal with it. It's frustrating because I think we'd have moved up to third. I know it's early days, but you do look and you're looking for that momentum. I think they put us in third with, with a game away at Hitchin on Monday. So that's changed, obviously. But um, it makes Monday a massive game for us. But we keep the lads... Heads up, it wasn't a poor performance by any means. Um, creating that amount of chances um, is always always a positive, but the goals we give away were poor. Um, and we looked to bounce back, that's football. Aside from the goals, as you say, it was a good performance, so that's obviously pleasing with still two players away on holiday and still four players out injured. Yeah, look, we've said all along, it's not an excuse. We have had players missing. Um, but that being said, we, we've also started the season in terms of performance really well we've not picked up results that we should have um, even today you could argue look with the chances we've created we should win the game but it was it was a lot closer than that obviously they're, they're, they're a good good strong team and well drilled I think they beat us twice last year so we knew it was going to be tough but um, that sometimes happens it wasn't a poor performance as such we just goals changed games and we didn't take chances but like I say we've got Jamie coming back um, for Monday and, and obviously Christian who I, I think we, we missed today is his physicality being in the right areas at the right time um, would have probably helped us today but it wasn't a be so we're not here moaning making excuses we're disappointed yes but we're looking forward to Monday and, and we'll be ready for that and hopefully it's a chance to, to get another win would you, cook, would you say the goals were avoidable? All goals are avoidable I think from their point of view they say they, they were good goals but um, they, all, they, well, they both come from turnovers. I thought they were very good today on turnovers. When, when we give the ball away, and I don't think we took care of it enough today. When we did give the ball away, they looked really dangerous on the turnover and going forward. And both come from that. Um, first one's a good finish. I think any other day, you fancy him shoot from there. He's caught it really well. He's gone, obviously, in the perfect area, in off the post. Um, I'd have to watch the second goal back, but I didn't look, like the look of it defensively. Uh, I'm not sure what's happened completely, but... When one centre forward's chesting it to the other on your penalty in your penalty area, then you're not going to be best pleased. But from their point of view, I suppose they look at both goals and say they were they were good goals because the midfielder, number eight, I thought was was a real dangerous player for them. Made runs all afternoon with a good finish. And and, and obviously the second one will look like really good build up play, but defensively we should have maybe done better. I'll have to have a look. Um on the flip side of it, you're now starting with players coming back, now starting to get more competition for places, so that will hopefully help as well. Yeah, you always want competition for places. Um, we've got a good group anyway, so, so, so lads don't rest on their laurels and think, oh, there's not lads about, so I'm safe, my position's safe. It never is. Um, so we just want each each player to push push the other and, and we'll keep driving to, to perform at a really good level. And If we do that and we create the amount of chances we did today, in, in the remaining games we've got left of this season, we'll definitely win more than we lose. How important is it that we dust ourselves off and ideally get three points in a tough game Monday? Yeah, you're always looking for three points. The lads are, are disappointed. They want to win games of football like we all do. Um, but sometimes you've just got to say, look, we, we didn't perform badly. I, my job is to get them up and, and, and I will show them. The clips. We, we, in spells, we, we look really dangerous. Ross Crane... Jacob Lay got in good areas. Ryan got shots off. Seth got chances um, and shots off. So we've got chances across the board there, but we just didn't take them today. And like I say, that that can 
knock your confidence and, and, and when they go and score two then it knocks the stuffing out of you and makes it a real down day but performance wise it wasn't a million miles off if we if we take chances early on the game's a totally different one so I've told them that and I want them to be um, obviously rest and recuperate as well as they can just quite a quick turnover to Hitchin and we'll and we go there and like I said if we create chances like we have done today we'll, we'll score a few goals and, and have a chance of winning the game Hitchin also lost today and they've only drawn 0-0 in both their home games so far. We've also got a good record when we play Hitchin. Does that play a factor for you? I think all them factors, if, if look, we've got a good record against them, which they, they will say it means it has to change. I will say, look, we've got a good record against them, so we should, it's, look, it is what it is. And it's who turns up on the day and who wants it more and who plays better. Um, I think they played today with 10 men for a lot of the game, so... Obviously, there's going to be changes or, 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 or tired legs, um, which hopefully we can can use to our benefit. Um, but we'll, we'll be up for it and, and full on and hopefully full of energy. And like I said, if we create chances like we have done today, I fancy us to score goals and hopefully go, that means we go on and win the game. And after that game against Sitchin, we've also been drawn at home to get against Leyston. What do you think of that? A good draw. A good draw for, for, for Suffolk. Um Look, I suppose both us and Leiston, would, it's not a great draw in terms of you could have got someone in a lower level. Um, we're at home, so it probably benefits us a little bit more. There's always a bit of needle, needham Leiston, um, local, healthy rivalry. Um, so it should be a good game, and it's, it's obviously one that, that us and Leiston would be desperate to win. Cheers, Kev. Cheers.